Hi, this is Darna Stings, and I will be doing super duper 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 condensed version of my live streams for my character design for Ryoka Griffin. And basically, she is a fan art character for the web novel The Wandering In by uh, Pirate Abba. I do not own the character, this is totally a fan art for fun. And basically, this will be a, an abridged version of all my thoughts and ideas and anything that was going through my head as I was drawing this. If you like these more condensed versions of my live streams, please give me a like or a subscribe or even leaves me some questions and comments in the comment area and I will try to make more of these in the future. Thank you so much and uh, enjoy! Hi, so here is Ryoka Griffin in the nude. It is just a style I usually would draw them in the nude and of course this is a censored version for YouTube and Twitch started to get banned. I would use this as a great way to put the clothes on the character and understand how the clothes falls on the body and how it looks as I start dressing them. And so I am knocking her back, her opacity to maybe 30%, so it's not as strong. And then start inking the clothes. As you can see above me is a reference of the medieval leg wrapping. Uh, I guess what they call medieval socks <sighs> and um, great references on the internet and from there I am trying to create very even wraps around the leg I'm adding small details to make it look fabric like um, around the I would say the character's right leg I would usually go by the character's left and right because if you're drawing comics or anything it's best to have that in mind because if your character is right-handed, you should know which side is the character's right hand. Here's a great example of the wrap, uh, wrapping around the foot and getting much more detail in where it bends and where it scrunches up. I think I am going to be uh, using this reference again to adjust the leg wrap size. I've just noticed it's closer to the knee. Always go back to your reference. Silly me, I did not do that. So now I've uh, used Procreate's uh, resizing tool, which is the select tool and the arrow, and use that to resize everything. It's a great tool, Procreate. It's one of the best tools I like about it. I am much closer to finishing. Now I'm just inking the toes and the body parts. And since she is a barefooted runner, I had a lot of details. See quick reference and details. It's just to show the roughness of the foot, but always have reference. Always double check. Then I am walking now on her left foot, her left foot, which would be my right, but her left foot, and a lot faster now because when she finished uh, her right foot, uh, I would think her left foot would be a lot easier. Here I am trying to create the layers to have a very petal like structure I think like an overlapping petal on the edge so it looks more like one fabrics covering the other one and covering the other one as it goes it's it just makes it a look a little more realistic of how a fabric would overlap another one tightly against each other I am using the direction of the nude to add in some kind of shaping line. Also dropping out the nude sometimes to see how it looks without all the distraction and shaping the wrap. Now I'm inking the toes, finishing it off with the, the rough details to make it a little, a little more realistic. Here we go, little hashtags. Hashtags? No, I mean, <laughs> fascist. From here, I am moving on. It's very exciting. We are definitely doing a pants. It's doing a lot of a, I guess, I'm estimating kind of a British style, 1700s maybe, 1800s. I was thinking more 1700s uh, pants. I did have button, but I thought as a runner, and she's from modern times, she would like to be running very uh, lightly. 
Amazon went for different material, maybe a lighter fabric material, a little more billowy, and drawstrings makes it easy to put on and off. I was wondering if she's, since she's a messenger, if she would have pockets. Oh, here. <laughs> Realized her neck was a little short. As usual, Procreate's great for uh, adjusting things. And we've moved on to the shirt. Above is a very billowy uh, blouse of sort. I think it's based more on a pirate of that time. 1700s. Like I said, where she's at is, I guess, close to some port cities or more of human settlement with uh, lords and ladies. So I am guessing they would have butlers and maids. It would be closer to maybe 1700s, 1800s. The billowy uh, blouse, I made a lot of poofy sho sho not for shoulders, poofy wrists. As you can see, just very nice poofy lines going, woo, woo. and then um, a wrist cuff going right around the, the nude and following those lines. I think from here, I realized I want to show her body off more. She's so pretty and making too poofy. I just felt it hid some of her body. This is definitely what they say is, uh, what's, there's a saying, but basically, I'm going in and adjusting it to my my taste. <laughs> it doesn't have to follow the reference exactly. Sometimes you want it to look good, you might as well go for it. <laughs> Lots of lines, uh, long lines to make it look billowy, um, curvy lines to give it a uh, more volume, and definitely looking to make it more linen-like. The reference above is. Uh, a linen of sorts, so I went with stiffer linen reference. Uh, either way, it's now a little more shape to the body. <laughs> My way of uh, adjusting things, I guess. I do not think she would have silk. I don't think they have silk in that uh, area, so it would definitely be linen and cotton. I'm adjusting, not adjusting, inking the hands now, finishing up the touches, adding her air earbuds or something and her ear which has been ripped off halfway Let's say it's in the story i'm not gonna spoil anything and from here finishing off the color sometimes they jump around so finish off the color showing off her neck great reference i found above me definitely loved it and going with that now i'm inking her face she's a very beautiful face so i did base her face off of a character from Squid Games. I wonder if any of you would guess it. <laughs> the reference is going to show up in a bit. One of my favorite female characters. Yes, jumping back and forth, adding more details here and there, giving uh, the clothes a kind of a was it filled up look by adding those little J curves and S's um, and a scrunched up feel where the collar, collar, wrist, wrist collar tightens up. Small touches like the sewing line along the shoulders or how fabric folds. Also here, great way that I can understand where the wrist is at is by really using my nude as a guide. From here, I do not know what happened. I think I wasn't sure if I liked this pants above me. I try to go for a shorter leg wrap, but maybe it's not working. I've come back to just the pockets instead. Um, I think this was my next stream and coming in, I decided maybe smaller pockets. <laughs> Either way, things are always changing day by day. So I made the small adjustments, always using reference, of course, and adding these pockets with the little buttons there and even like side slip-in pockets. Since she is a messenger, I think I, messenger, I mentioned that a few times. She is a courier, so she carries uh, messages and sends mail, like a mailman, woman. Oh, there she is. Uh, <laughs> Hyung Jung, uh, Ho Hyung Jung. Uh, I finally looked up her reference. 
as you can see. <laughs> Surprise if anyone got the right guess. Um, Squeaking, she is very beautiful. May I ask? May I ask? May I say? I'm going to just say. <laughs> I do not need to ask. Um, but here I am adjusting these drawstrings. I think I wanted a more realistic look. Uh, still going with the very medieval uh, leg wraps. So I got a very medieval drawstring pants. You can see, I think the string fabric is not like our modern ones, which are a little heavier. So I definitely went with that kind of rougher look. And the scrunched up texture around where the drawstring pulls in. You got the sewn lines um, and then the kind of the folds. I call them J-line folds. And then here, of course, I have to finish off uh, her right arm and and of course uh, her fingers are partially missing if you're asking why some of the fingers look weird they were bitten off uh, that's as far as a spoiler would go I'm drawing it kind of partially gone <laughs> hope I did a good job uh, she's also holding an iPhone of sorts making those adjustments later just touching up so that they both, I guess, both sleeves look similar. And here, Ho Young Jung, I am inking her at last. I am not, it's just, this is not her. I'm just basing her facial features to this character, Ryoka Griffin. I just thought she looked beautiful, although I am so sorry. Ryoka is a <laughs> Japanese American, I think, mixed character. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't find someone. I just thought when I read Wandering In, I just had this idea that, she, that Ho Young Jung would look like her. And she's just beautiful. And Ho Young Jung is Korean. She is Korean. But I could not deny she's beautiful. She had that, that face I wanted, that semi angry but beautiful. And almost kind of want to be innocent face. I think that's what the, I was going for. Touching up the eyes here, adding shadow underneath the eyelids. As usual, eyes are 3D. And then um, adding a bit of highlights. There we go. We've moved to the final stage of the live stream. And basically, like I said, she's a messenger. So she needs bag. <laughs> and so bag would be in this world they have something called back coatings which is similar to video games i mean it's kind of a video game based world and these bags can hold a certain amount of weight i think five pounds so it magically can fit lots of things so the bag i did not want it too big um considering she is a runner she runs and she would like something light so this i imagined that her bag would be a sling kind of slinging to her left side small letter type bag so it's uh, much more durable for her runs and deliveries uh, easily to get robbed and such <laughs> uh, touching up here with ring and of course always use reference I found this beautiful leather bag and you can see above me not this one <laughs> but this one and it's very beautiful and I thought it would be a great reference it has that kind of scruffed up look which makes it look somewhat used and here I think I am adjusting to have that strap on top of strap with this with a kind of a protection strap underneath or protection face shoulder thing. I'm not sure what that is called, but I added it. And then of course a belt for adjustments. Adding kind of a uh what do you call it? A loop of how the fabric loops in for adjustment. It's not completely flat, so I try to make it look bent. Bent would be a better word. As bent as... <laughs> Here we go. Adding the small details. So it looks like a sewn letter. You have the stitch lines and such. And here, I think I was going with maybe how the reference back above, as you can see, back, back above has this, these uh, folds or sorts. So I'm adding them in. And maybe adding, making up a pocket inside. Is it a pocket? I think there is a pocket in reference, but I think in my mind I was making it up. 
thinking since it would be great for her to carry more stuff pockets 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 adding the belt here a little rough looking belt imagining how it look near the center of the bag and closing this adding in its own lines and then the holes and there we go it's uh <laughs> A lot of little cleaning up as well it's it's always a lot of cleaning and there we go so here I have the finished product for Bioka Griffin definitely I did small adjustments outside of streaming as usual as an artist I am never satisfied uh, I did decide that I prefer a more billowy pants that goes all the way down and not have such a kind of a large leg wrap with the smaller leg wraps through here it just gave her leg a beautiful line and shape and since she's a runner she has really long legs I made mean, her really long legs the strong long legs by the way <laughs> so i really did not want to miss shaping it with the longer wraps uh pants is just uh, wrapped into the wrap and then from here uh you can see the bag i finished Instead of a belt, I went for a button. I would think that's a lot easier to open and close. And then I have like a little scroll and a seal and some uh, additional rings to hook on some potions or hidden pocket underneath. I touched up all of this off stream, so sorry. But I finished her, add some cute little freckles, adjusted her ponytail, which is like a soft wave maybe like not too straight not too wavy uh since she's half american half japanese that is i'm thinking hair would be a lot allowed to be like that and i finished off her iphone which is not an iphone after all i don't know if i'm allowed to draw the apple symbol so i did something cute instead <laughs> and this is uh ryoka griffin she's done as a small uh, spoiler alert, I did make more adjustments later as the author did answer a question from my AMA. And because of that, I made some adjustments to the outfit later on. You'll see it in a separate stream. I'm going to put it in a separate stream. This still looks very good, so I did keep this, show you the final product, but I did make adjustments based on what the author gave me more information in terms of their outfits let's just say pirate abba very nice of them to answer my question <laughs> make these adjustments i hope at some point i could show this off to the author this fan art is just a fan thing and maybe do a color stream for it but thank you for checking out this condensed version of the live stream and hope you enjoy what I do and if you like uh, these condensed versions please give me a like or a subscribe and I'll try to make more of them out of the live streams really appreciate any comments would be really nice and this is Darnest Things thanks for stopping by